An A400M Atlas takes off from RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire. It could be one of 20 aircraft taking off and landing here today. But have you ever wondered who's keeping the sky safe above the base? And what does it take to be one of those people? I find all the answers inside this unassuming little building. It's home to the Terminal Air Traffic Control Centre South. But before we meet the people inside, I wanted to establish exactly what they're responsible for. And to understand that, you need to know a bit of recent history. Before the 5th of June, it was Bry's Air Traffic Control Tower responsible for air traffic control with station-based aircraft at Bry's Norton and the airspace that surrounds it. And then on the 5th of June, we transitioned into the Terminal Air Traffic Control Centre, shortened to Tatsi South. And that change in name is pretty significant. Here's why. A single unit, such as Bryce, will be responsible for the airspace out to approximately 40 nautical miles. And the same for all the other units that will eventually come to the Tatsi. They're also responsible for approximately out to 40 nautical miles for their individual stations. So when we're all put together, we'll be um, Bryce. Benson, Odium and Boscombe, so you can imagine the sort of geographical airspace that we'll be in charge of in the south of England. We're central, centralised here at Bryce Norton. Bryce is just in the middle of our screen here and that is our runway. And that responsibility this falls on the shoulders of personnel like Bethany. Zone. So from surface to 3,500 feet, that is protected airspace, it's a known traffic environment yeah. and the idea being that Anything that's in there, we've given clearance to go in so we can keep all aircraft in that vicinity safe. Let me quickly explain how the place works. Upstairs in the green box, you have the visual control element, giving clearances for takeoff and landing at Bryce Norton. Downstairs in the approach room, personnel are controlling the airspace, be that above Bryce or one of the other stations that will be controlled from here using radar screens. Tower request release ASCO 2168. It's not a job for everyone, and aptitude tests are used to select the most suitable. To, to be an air, a good air traffic controller, you've really got to have an ability to be able to multitask, to um, be able to make quick decisions, understand quite complex airspace, and uh, be able to do maths relatively quickly because we do that um, a lot during, uh, yeah, during sort of day-to-day -day, uh, routine. Bryce Norton is the largest and busiest RAF air station. It's the main airport used by troops deploying on exercises and operations across the world. That means the safety of all on board those planes lies in the hands of the people in the control tower, or at least for a short while. I wondered if that's something Bethany and the team have to try to put out of their minds. We're all very aware that our our roles focus around air safety and we have a lot of responsibility, you know, we hold a lot of risk uh, with each aircraft that, that we're controlling, but it is important to be able to distance yourself from that a little bit. You've got to keep it in the back of your mind and obviously that will uh, focus you to do a really good job when you're sat there, but if you are constantly thinking, oh, I've got 211 people on this plane, um, it can get quite overwhelming when you start adding all those people. There are currently around 75 people working at the control tower. By the middle of next year, that will rise to around 95 when the radar teams from Odium and Boscan Down make the move. Claire Sadler, Forces News, RAF Bryson Norton. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.